Now it is a warm welcome back to you, Trudy. How have you been? Oh, I'm great. How have you been? I've been really Love well. Love the fringe. Thank you. Love it. It's a new, it's a new addition. Nice. Might need some products from you later on, probably in the series <laughs> about that. And then normally we are talking about fragrance for our bodies, but uh, there seems to have been a bit of an explosion in fragrances for our homes and store right there, now. Look, there really has, and I think it's come off the back of this cocooning trend, which sort of kicked off in about 2016. Um, and I think well, you know how obsessed we are with our homes. We're actually treating them more like an entertaining space than a living space so home fragrance fits into that beautifully and I guess with the explosion of being able to shop online now you can just sit in your pajamas from home and order up any candle <laughs> you like. You can so what fragrance combos do we really like here as New Zealanders? Well I know what I like and it's quite personal like fragrance but I actually had to ring, I decided to ring the buyer actually, the fragrance buyer from Farmers and ask her and apparently we are sweet fans. Really? We love sweet fragrance so not so much the musky tones and when I say that's what we like that's what sells so that's her indication. Um, you know the combination of um, fig and freesia and tuberose and jasmine and those really beautiful floral floral fragrances that are sweet which doesn't surprise me really because we are sort of outdoorsy. We like that garden outdoorsy lifestyle. See I prefer a fresher smelling candle like a really nice fresh a citrus? smell. Citrus. That's, That's what me I love. Too. So what are the best sellers? Candles or diffusers? Look the same buyer said that the diffusers just walk you know they're just hot sellers at the moment. Less of the room sprays, they're not really selling so much. And yet you talk to a brand manager like um, from someone like Koya and they'll say it's candles. So I think it's a bit of both. I mean I think the benefit of a diffuser is that you can put it in a very small room, like a, even a wardrobe or a you know a sports shoe cupboard or mm. something like that that's a bit pongy. Um, there's no risk of you know catching fire. Whereas a candle is, is better in a bigger living space because it creates an ambience as well. It gives you that lovely scent. And it is a candle. I've got one of the and you diffusers. do need to make sure you blow them out. Yes, yeah. the diffusers are in my boys bathroom because that's just a constant smelly zone really yeah. with three children. Yeah. Um, so with your diffusers they've always got the bamboo reeds, should you turn them or not turn they them? They have now look the official party line is no, but I do, so I'm a rule breaker. Oh, what a um, rebel. Because what happens is that you get that constant lovely smell, but if you want a burst of fragrance before someone arrives and you're just, you know, putting the flowers out, you can flip them over and you get that real essence, that burst again of fragrance. But you don't need to, that's that's the What about candles? What's the rules for getting the best out of your candle? Look, the you must, and this is a real must, trim the wick every time you use it. So who and, does that? Well, nobody. And this is the problem. The, the, um, the soy burns black if you don't trim your wick. Also, um, what happens is that the candle pulls, and, and, it, and once you haven't trimmed your wick, the flame is bolder and brighter, and the candle burns faster. Okay. So you get that emission of black soot, and the vessel heats up So too. trim your wick. Always. Uh, uh, what about, can you fragrance combine candles and diffusers, or do they well, need to match? I think absolutely. You know, a brand like Jo Malone, who make magnificent candles, um, use fragrance combining for their fragrance cologne and candles. And I sort of go with what's going on in the room. Um, so if you in your kitchen you want to burn something with citrus or bergamot, mm. coriander to sort of get rid of those pongy kitchen smells. Yeah. Um, in a bedroom you'd want something really soft like lavender or honeysuckle to help you sleep. And in a living room I guess those bolder citrusy um, florals, musky tones All good. work really well. I want to talk about some of the things that you've brought in here today. Yeah, so I've lit the place up today. Where do you want to start? Let's start with the one that's a light. Um, look, I have bought in all New Zealand brands and I, I think the thing about it is that these are available at, at a, a store like farmers all over New Zealand. So I wanted to keep it so that anybody that's accessible and anyone can have them. This, I love this brand, um, the Kitchen Therapy brand through Aromatherapy Company. Fantastic for the kitchen. You know, this cute little chef's candle is ideal if you're cooking a really pongy curry or seafood or lamb. I mean, I hate the smell of lamb cooking. It just gets rid of all of that smell. And they do beautiful hand mm. creams and washes. So once you've chopped the garlic, you can get rid of that smell with that it as smells well. Smells delicious. Tell me about this um, one here. This is a brand new brand brand, um, exclusive to farmers actually, it's called Peppermint Grove and it was named after the very affluent suburb in Perth called Peppermint Grove. Beautiful natural soy, I mean I just love the vessels, they're, they're so divine, I mean you could use those afterwards to put flowers in, they're so beautiful. You could. Um, the double wick means that it burns evenly, it's natural soy, beautiful coconut infused flavours, they're really gorgeous. And what about these ones And I guess our homegrown brand that we all love um, is Akoya and they have done the most stunning 
one in collaboration with Three Florists, and this one that I bought in is with Kelly Carmen from Blush, a New Zealand florist, and it's fig and tuberose, and apparently it's just selling its socks off. Can you pass it over so I can have a little I know, smell? It's gorgeous, and there's two other with Australian florists actually, Mr Cook's and Jardine um, Botanic. Oh, yeah, that is too. absolutely delicious. I know, fig and tuberose, so you've got that little bit of sweet and that little bit of musk. Trudy, thank you so much. Oh, Always pleasure. a pleasure chatting with you. It is, Good to yeah. see you in the new year. Looking forward to many more shows. Oh, thank you. Now, for more from Trudy, you can head to her website, beautyeq.co.nz.